Western blot figures for scientific publication typically contain text that is aligned to the lands of one's Western blot, as well as images that are consistently cropped and aligned to each other, as well as marks such as these. To help create these easily and quickly, I've added a set of tools to quick figures. Using them, you can easily create evenly spaced labels that are aligned to your blot lanes and edit any one of them however you wish. In this video, I will teach how to use those tools for editing Western blot figures. In Image J, assuming that you have Quick Figures installed, you first go to the Plugins menu, go to Quick Figures and Show Main Toolbar, and then you open up a picture of a Western blot. Now on the main toolbar there's an icon that looks like a western blot. You click this icon and it will ask you what region of interest you want for your western blot. And I want these bands right here to show. I hit OK. And then it will ask me how to label the lanes. If I don't want to label them now but instead later I can always hit cancel. For now, I'm going to go to Microsoft Excel and I'm going to copy the labels and paste them into here. And I'm going to input the number of labels I want it to create, which is 10. I'm also going to tell it to put some marks below them. And it's created the labels. I can click near them to select the layout that the labels are attached to and I can move this layout around or change the spacing between them until it's perfectly aligned with the western blot lines, like so. In order to expand upon this, I can always find some files and I can drag a couple of files over to my existing figure. It will ask me what regions I want for each of those files. And it's expanded the figure to include multiple panels, which I can add labels to easily. If I double click on a label, it will go into text edit mode, in which I can type in the text. If I click on a label and then click within this red dot at the center, I can adjust the positioning of all its sister labels. This works for every family of labels. If I click on the overall layout for the figure, I can adjust the spacing between panels or move the whole figure. When a label is selected, You'll see some icons in the mini toolbar over here that you can use to make edits. By clicking all, you can select a lot of them and edit them at the same time, ensuring that they have the same parameters. Once you're happy with the figure you create, you can export it to a variety of formats, file, export, uh, there's a few options. In this example, I'm going to create a PowerPoint slide. And once you have it, you can actually ungroup it and everything that you've created before is a separate editable object that can be further edited in PowerPoint. Furthermore, information about which images were used to create these image panels will be present in the slide notes of your PowerPoint slide, making it a little bit easier to keep track. The second half of this video will teach you how to create more complex things like this figure right here. If you think you've already seen enough to get started making your Western blot figures with quick figures, you can just install it in about a minute I have another video showing you how to install that will be a link right here. Experiments containing different combinations of treatments 
will often show Western blots in which the marks above each lane indicate what combination of treatments was applied to that condition. It's very easy to create this kind of grid of marks with quick figures. First, I'm going to delete the existing one. And I could click on the layout and click Add Lane Labels again. But alternatively, I can just right click on an image panel, go to Figure, Add Labels, and Add Lane Labels. The same dialog will appear in either case. And like before, I'm going to type in the number of lanes. I could paste in text for each lane, or I could just delete what's here so that it doesn't include any text for the lanes. And next, I'm going to tell it how many rows of marks I want. I'm going to have three. And in this area, it shows what, which pattern you want for each row. You can edit this. For example, if I want row two to have a different pattern, I can just type in the pattern that I want to appear in the row two of marks. And then I hit OK. And it will create that pattern of marks that I typed in. I can easily add labels to this grid and type in text explaining which row of marks means what. And of course, I can manually change the text for any one of these labels to be whatever I want it to be. When you're within the lane label dialog for the marks, you can also copy paste from Excel into here. and it will have those values and create marks that match up to more complex patterns. Researchers will often draw lines and other shapes to help explain which group of lands correspond to which condition. That is quite easy to do. Assuming you've clicked one of the shape tools you can draw it right on top of the layout for these land labels. And in this case, I'm going to right click on this one, go to duplicate and duplicate to columns to create several copies that are in equivalent locations across these columns. By using all of these tools effectively, you can create a figure like this in a few minutes. If you want to create a Western blot with more than one column of images, that's very simple to do. You click on the layout and there are these plus mark shaped handles that allow you to drag them to add columns or subtract columns. Once you have those extra columns, you can simply drag a file to the panel you want to put it, select a region of interest, appropriately rotated, and you can add however many of these you want. You can also add lane labels to your second column, just like you could add them to your first. There's a lot else that Quick Figures can help you do. You can watch the other tutorial videos or read the user guide to learn a little bit more. Thanks for listening.